Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and uh, over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. And we have been a little behind on um, the E Club and AJ kits as far as uh, getting videos done for them, with them. And I know that y'all understand all of that. Um, if you've been watching my channel with my channel long enough um you know what has been happening so um anyway thank y'all for being patient with us and we're trying our best to catch up uh with this october kit i wanted to do a little fun something and um it's gonna be a mini um Kind of pocket album ish. Uh, we shall see how it all works out when we get to the bottom of everything. But you got quite a few goodies in the October kit. Um, these, as far as the kind of fallish theme, it's not totally fall theme. The October kit wasn't, but as far as that kind of theme, these really don't go but if you know me and mom well enough you know why we included butterflies a whole sheet of butterfly stickers in the october kit um we love us some butterflies and those had some of the same colors in it uh really goes with this paper here that come in your kit so um we were very happy when we found those butterfly stickers um we went with a totally different company than what we usually do um we went with a company called pink fresh now they've been around for years and years and years it's not like we just never did do anything with them um it's just that their stuff might be priced a little bit higher than what some of the other was and we just wanted to make sure that we were giving y'all everything um a good bang for your buck in this <laughs> e-club kit um i am texting something to brandon i need him to bring me home something from the shop uh there we go this is the collection from pink fresh called good times and it has got some fallish look to it but i love the colors in it because it's not your traditional just brown and orange throughout actually the orange that's in this is more of a sunflower yellow than it is orange so i really enjoyed that and then here's the papers that go along with that beautiful papers and then a whole pack of die cuts so we enjoy doing that we enjoy being able to give y'all lots of die cuts because we know y'all love them and some rick rack and lots of little dollies to go with it so what i'm thinking is i'm going to start off with the cardstock and make us the start of a booklet the base of a booklet so you're going to need a trimmer and you're going to need uh, your scoreboard whatever you score with I'm going to cut off that little branding strip and I think I'm going to put this together so this is eight and a half by eleven eight and a half so i'm gonna go four and a quarter to get me two equal pieces and let's see here i need to get my score pal up here and let's get this base figured out So I can always add to the edges 
if I need to, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so for this, it's 11 inches long, and I want to make a little um, one inch spine with this. So I'm going to score at five inch mark and the six inch mark. Okay, and then I'm going to fold up, fold over. Okay, so there's your spine of your little bookie book that you're going to make. Okay, and then you fold this way to make sure everything is lining up correctly, and it is. So then I'm going to make another score mark at one inch, I mean at 10 inches, <laughs> and then at one inch. Okay, so this one, the 10 inch one, I'm going to fold over, and that's going to be a little tuck, whoop, that's going to be a little tuck at the back, okay, like so, and then, um, let's see, I want the cover to be shorter than this back, and I will show you why in a minute, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and fold that over, so now we've got this, see that's more proportioned was more better <laughs> that way and let's see here I want to have a tuck on the front too so I'm going to go ahead and cut off that one inch tuck that I cut for the front right on the score line hey y'all I'm just going as I go Y'all are getting raw. <laughs> what I would do if I was just coming up with something for you. All right, and then I'm going to score that again. So I cut off that one inch score that I first did. And then I'm going to score it one more time. And okay. So yes, I want. I want that cover shorter than the back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and round my corners of my tuck spots. So put those in there. Oop, and I did the diagonal. Okay, <laughs> that works. You'll probably want to round yours. I had my diagonal punch out and I didn't look at what I had. So mine are going to get diagonal punches instead of rounded and that's quite all right okay I like that and it's going to fold over about like that I love it so far okay um you're going to ink the edges if you want to and with this I do believe I'm going to spray, since it is the base, I'm going to spray it with the spray that come in the kit just to get me a base that um, is a little bit different, not just all one solid color cardstock. So I'm going to get this open. Okay, just shake, shake, shake. And I'm actually going to spray look how pretty Ooh, I love that and then I'm going to hold and spray the inside and spray my fingernails while I'm at it and I'm going to let that dry and come back and show you what else we're going to do okay and then you have a remaining piece 
like that. I had cut that off for something else that I made a mistake on. And <laughs> I'm just going to cut off excess whatever I need. Here I'm going to score it one inch, half inch, one inch, one and a half inch. So every half inch all the way to four inches. So half inch, one inch, one and a half, two and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four. Okay. So I'm starting at half inch, every half inch until you get to four. And I'm looking for um, three mountain peaks. So I'm just going to zigzag fold on those score lines until I get three mountain peaks with a piece off to the side when I get done. Okay, I've got three mountain peaks and then I have that one piece so I can cut that where that last score line was. Hold this back out so I don't mess up my mountains. Anybody else that does that would have cut it the length they needed first. But I get so confused and I'm not good with measurements. So I get confused whenever I try to figure that out. And I just wanted to make sure I had enough. So there are my three mountains. This is going to get glued down. This is going to get glued down. We're going to put score tape in the valley, in the valley, in the valley. So this is the back of it. And um, I know that y'all have seen people make these kind of albums before. And if I'm clear as mud, I'm sorry. I don't make these as often as I used to. And so I'm just kind of going off of <laughs> memory. All right, so here's our top. This one's going to get glued down. This one's going to get glued down. We've got adhesive on the back of that mountain, and that mountain is going to go together. Okay, and now same thing on this mountain. Behind it in the valley, we're going to put down double-sided tape. And then same thing over here. And then pick those off. I'm just going to do it one at a time so I don't get anything stuck to anything else that's not supposed to be stuck to each other. Those two mountains are together. And now last mountain. We're going to stick together and try not to stick to anything else. Okay. See there? So we've got our three mountains that are now stuck together. Like so. And now that piece will fit right in the middle of our one inch spine. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of distressing. Most of this will be covered up, but I'm just going to distress it just to make sure that you don't see anything that hasn't been, you know, aged. Okay, and then I'm going to put score tape all over this one inch spine to make sure that everything goes down easily. We'll take off the backs and then I'm going to put glue where there's not... Oh! Who do you hear? 
goodness, put glue where there is not score tape. And then I'm going to hold that together, hold all of my mountains together, and get this lined up right in the middle. And try not to go over anything either. So the liquid glue that you add in there is helping you maneuver that around a little bit okay and then you're going to get your bone folder straight edge or whatever and you're going to burnish down everything back and forth and back and forth Okay. and then that way that helps you you're going to be you know moving your pages back and forth and back and forth so that takes care of that too now we can go ahead and glue down our tucks that's going to be on the front and back and I'm going to ink around those tucks that spray did a beautiful job I love it. So I'm just going to put glue there and there and press those tucks down. You want to hold them for just a couple of seconds so they adhere. And then I'm going to come on this side and do the same thing. And just hold, hold, hold. I'll get my messy rag and wipe off excess glue while I'm holding. Okay, and then I want this to have rounded corners, so I'm actually going to get the correct <laughs> corner rounder. And I'm going to go in where I just folded over those tucks. And I'm going to round the corners of my base, book base. You're going through some thick cardstock, so your punch might give you a little bit of resistance, but just keep on going with it. It'll be fine. It will work. Okay. And I need to fold this over again and come in here and fold the back over again. There we go. Look, it's already, mm, it's so pretty. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, now what we're going to do is make some kind of focal point here at the very front and I'm going to get some uh, seam binding and the seam binding is going to go behind this focal point and wrap around and we're going to tie the bow for the seam binding there so that's going to be the closure for this little book that's already looking too cute all the way around I love it and then we need to make some tags and things and we're going to make like two tags sandwich them together and then they're going to go on either side of our mountains to make our pages so this paper is six by six and i'm going to cut this at two and three fourths and leave the six inches because what i'm going to do is fold up to the four inch mark, I think. Let's see here. I want it sticking out of the top. So I'm gonna fold this up to the four and a half inch mark. So when I attach it in here, it's gonna be like so and you'll be able to see 
a little bit of it over the top. I'm going to go ahead and tag punch the top and then I'm going to round. Well, there's cardstock in there and I can't see it on my corner rounder. There we go. That's a lot prettier. Okay. So that's going to be page number one front. And see, it's going to have a pocket there that's going to attach to that one. And it's going to stick up ever so slightly. Okay. And I'm also going to round the bottom like that so it gives me a nice little round oval kind of pocket and I will ink and go ahead and glue that pocket on the edges ink the top here okay and I'll do a hole at the top of this and we'll put some trim in there. And then I'll do the same thing with this one. So two and three quarters wide and then fold up just like this one. So after looking at it, I've decided that these two are going to be my second page. So I'm going to glue these together all except this edge. And then I'm going to put, after I glue them together, they'll be like this. And then we'll just have a little bit of glue here. And I'm going to slide it down over that middle mountain. And then that will be our second page. And it'll flip back and forth like this. We need to do two more pages here. They don't have to be tags. I actually want them to be something different than tags just in there like that on that one let's go ahead and get these glued together all except on that one side I'm going to go ahead and put glue down But I'm just going to make sure that that doesn't get stuck down until we put it on that middle mountain. All right, and then just slide it over. It should slide quite easily. Make sure your edges on this side are good. And then make sure that you're not hanging off on the bottom. I would rather see a little bit of that mountain down here than that be hanging off and show on the bottom of the page or on the bottom of the book. So then you just glue everything. Make sure there's no openings. Okay, and then that is in there as our second page. And we'll put stuff in our pockets. Found a piece of fabric that I want to put on my spine. Um, this came from the Taper Logi box that I got. They have some of the cutest fabric bundles over on Taper Logi, and if you've never shopped with them, um, you need to use my code and my link. It is always in the description box under my videos. Now I'm using um, Fabrifix to adhere this on, and then I'm going to uh, sew on either edge 
of the spine also before I get anything else added in there. I want to get my sewing done. And I might add some more sewing features inside too. But I want to put a zigzag stitch here and another here on either side of that spine. And so some of that will um, touch on this fabric too that I've put on there. Okay, so there is my elementary stitching and that just gives us a little extra security for that spine as well and now I just need to figure out what I want as my first page and my last page and then I will figure out what I want to put in my tucks and what we're going to put on the front. Um, I do want to go ahead and pick out what seam binding. I think I'm going to use that one. Yep. I'm going to use this seam binding as my closure. I really love that flower paper. Maybe as my first one and we'll put a pocket on this one too. I think I just want it to be the height of the book though. So I'll cut two pieces just rectangular and no wider than these. So I might bring this one a little bit shorter than this one. So I think I will cut these two and a half wide. instead of that two and three quarters that I did the tag pages. So two and a half wide. Yep, I like that. And then I'm going to fold this up to four and a quarter to make that pocket. So, and then I'm going to line this up. Okay, I'm good with that. It's going to show just a touch over the top, but I'm fine with that. Got it just a little bit taller than that uh, five and a quarter, I mean four and a quarter. Then I want to round the tops of those. Yeah, so every one of them is going to look like a tag, but we don't have to make all the corners look like tags. But we do want to put pockets on everything, so it'll look like a tag. This one I'm not going to put uh, a hole at the top. I am going to string some uh, ribbon through that second page, and then this one will go like that and not have a hole or ribbon at the top and then for the back of this one I used this paper like so yeah make sure that you have your pocket showing on the outside <laughs> before you sandwich everything so then this one will go in like this glued together and you could always have a pocket at the top if you wanted to. I'm just going to simplify mine a little bit. So that'll be my second page with pockets. Pockets are a little bit higher on these. And I'm fine with that. I love that actually. The contrast of it. And then this back one will be the same size as these. And I'll go ahead and cut those and make them and distress all of that and I'll come back and show you all three pages put in here. All right, I got some crochet thread. I'm going to put through this tag here at the top. Make myself a little topper. Um, I have got out of the paper pad the little cut apart sheet and I've put just some of those in our pockets there. I still got to ink 
around the edges of all of those. Now let's put, I got two strands of crochet thread and I'm going to put the loop through first. Okay, I've got my two loops through and then I'm going to pull my loose ends through and then lop off to make even. So that gives me four strands at the top that hangs out and over. And then I need to figure out what focal point I want on the front here. Um, let's see here. They got so many cute things in here. We could also add some of these die cuts to our pockets as well. Um, let's get that notebook looking paper out. Let's just go ahead and pull them all out here. That notebook paper. I love that. We shall see. That's cute, but too big. That is very cute. Hmm. There could be tea added to this little doolally. I like that. Ooh, I really like that. Okay, I think I have picked out what I want on the front. This one says, Favorite Memories. And then we've got a little um, leaf piece there. And then we've got a heart at the bottom. I'm going to ink all of these. And we're going to put this on with um, glue dots or dimensionals or something like that. So that we can get that seam binding back behind there. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Let me go ahead and ink all of these pieces. Okay, I'm just going to barely glue on the leaves up here just at the right angle and I think I want to put them this way yep let's put them that way just at the right angle so you can still see the wording and then the little heart I just need a little bit of glue at the top of that and put down here and then everything flip it over everything's going to get uh, dimensional so I'm going to do some foam adhesive and we have uh, a few sheets or a few packs of foam adhesive in the shop um, that is not like one of the biggest sellers, so we don't keep a lot of that in there. But if you're needing foam dots or dimensional adhesive, we can get you some added. But I think we got probably four packs maybe right now. I am the person that does the inventory at the shop, so that's my job and the ordering I do the ordering and the inventory and so I can usually keep up with how much we have of whatever and somebody says oh you're out of so-and-so I can say mm-hmm but we have more ordered it's on the way <laughs> okay so I'm gonna put all of my dimensional dots like that but I'm not going to glue it down yet. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put on my seam binding. So I'm going to pull out enough seam binding to get a good wrap. And then I would be able to make a nice bow over here. So that looks good to me and I'll measure it for y'all. I'm going to give myself a little diagonal cut on both ends. Okay, and then this is about 23 inches long, this 
piece of seam binding and I'm going to get it laid flat on the back but I'm not going to adhere it there. The only place it's going to get adhered is on the front that will be back behind this. So get all my other strings out of the way. I need some more this way to tie a nice bow and I want to get those as even as possible. I'm going to pull out and make sure I got enough. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to pull that up. And make sure everything's flat on the back. And go ahead and tie a bow. And then I'm just going to adhere that seam binding on the front cover. If I go ahead and tie the bow, that lets me know where that needs to be glued. I'm going to put this up here and make sure of placement. So that needs to go up some. Okay, I think it all needs to go down just a touch instead, Melina. Yep, right there looks good. So I'm going to get my Fabrifix. And I'm going to hold down the book cover. And just put me a line of Fabrifix right where that will be covering. And it that seems good right there. So I'm going to lay that down, lift up on the book cover, and put my hand inside there and make sure it lays down really well. Kind of bow up that cover and then let that dry. And while that's drying, you can go ahead and take your little covers off of your foam adhesive okay and then place your focal point wherever you deem is center and straight oh I like that and then you want to bow up that cover again and make sure that all of your pop dot adhesive is down Ain't that cute? Oh, I like that. I like the look of the cover being shorter than the back. That gives a little bit of new interest. Just a new little style. And then your closure is adhered back behind your focal point. You open it up and you've got your pocket pages inside here. And then we've got our areas over here that need some type of something added in there. Some beautiful little die cuts. Cozy vibes. That's cute. And put autumn in there. There's plenty of, plenty of room for more stuff. You can just add some coffee dyed paper into your little tucks at the back if you want to. And then you have all kinds of little spaces here. You could even make one of these a little wider and have the, that middle page have gift cards in it. And then you just have notes in there and give this as a gift during the holidays. That would be very cute. So then I'm going to tie my bow back and you can pull that front cover over as far as you want to when you're tying. Cute. I love this little new style 
of Mini Pocket Album. I hope you have too, and I will be sure to give you some still shots at the end. Um, I might add a few more little do lollies on this. I might put a little bit of uh, decoration on the back here and maybe even stitch around it. Ooh, I like that idea. Um, I'll cut out some paper from the paper pad and stitch around it and adhere that on and I'll have you a picture of that at the end. Well, I'll just go ahead and show you what I'm gonna do to the back. So that is what I did. So the doily there, I've added some glamour paste just to dirty it up a little bit, vintage it up some. Then on the back, I uh, stitched all around but then took out that stitching and just had the stitching at the bottom here, this corner and that corner, and made this a little tuck space for more like journaling or whatever I wanted to do back here. So. There's that, and then that uh, dolly is wrapped around there. And then we can add some kind of die cut or something to the edge here or out here on this. I like that, kind of goes along with our base color. And maybe we've got a leaf or a flower or something else that we can put out here that's too matchy matchy that one is too okay I like that cozy vibes the little leaf and an acorn at the top I'm going to ink the edges of all of that and add that on so a cute little pocket on the back I hardly ever decorate on the back but with this nice seam binding closure um, we've got enough protection back here that even if we do add something to the back we're good so we got a little tuck back here I love that I never add anything like that to the back so that is um, something a little different for me but I like it I like it so let's add maybe a little paper back there that can be journaled on and then maybe oh I like this floral paper we didn't get to show much on that one mm, I think what I'll do since that's matchy and that's matchy let's add this one up here Let's add that one back there pretty and then we'll need to cut this one down a little bit because remember our front cover is shorter than our back cover okay and go ahead and add those little pieces in that tuck as well along with maybe this little piece back here so we've got our tucks filled up our little pockets pages filled up and then our back has 
another little tuck space back there and tie our bow so there is our completed little vintage mini pocket album made from the October e-club kit and uh, you could make multiples of these because you still have plenty of paper plenty of die cuts and another whole sheet of cardstock for another base and um, yeah got plenty plenty of supplies left over still have some alpha stickers to use maybe on something else another project down the road but yeah still plenty of that kit left and I love that I love that there's extras I hope y'all have enjoyed this little project and um, you got plenty of stuff left over to do more stuff with too or make multiples of these for gifts y'all have a great day god bless see you in the next video bye y'all